What's up guys, Scott Martin here, Scott Martin Challenge. We've got another great show for you today. We're gonna to be traveling up to Haynes City to fish the Harris Chain. This place is known for big bass. And my special guest and challenger today is Akuma Pro, Tim Frederick. This guy knows how to catch them. We've battled it out on the water in the FLW Tour events. It's gonna be an awesome show, stay tuned. 14 pounds, five ounces. There he is, that's a good one, that's a good one. Yeah! Game time! Woo! Oh, look at that fish! Unbelievable! Dude, I'm excited, man. I can't wait. This is going to be fun. I, you know, I've, I've been here years ago when they used to have the Mega Bucks tournaments. Dad and I came up here a bunch, and he did good in these tournaments here at Harris Chain. But it's been years, man. I've heard nothing but good things about this. Yeah, place. It's, it was real good, and then it kind of died off, and it's coming back again. Um, spawns upon us, you know. I'm, I'm hoping we go out here and get these rattle trap fish pre-spawn. Yeah. If the weather holds off, we'll go do I some know. sight They're fishing, forecasting right? rain today, but you know what? That's what I always tell people. That's what we love about this show is that we go out here real time. I mean, we could, we could, you know, pick a better day. Yeah. But you know what? We want to show people how to catch them, and that's what I want. I want to learn how to catch fish on this lake, and I want to enjoy this lake, and hopefully we'll catch a few big fish along the way. And there are some spawning activity going on, and maybe if the rain didn't get us, maybe we can find one of those big ones. Yeah, I, I think we will. I, you know, a lot of these canals are pretty clear, even with a low light. Right. I use these yellow lenses. You can see them. Awesome. We'll, well, we'll I've got all my them. stuff ready. I know you love Akuma. Absolutely. I, I, I absolutely love these. I've got lipless crankbait tied on, like you said. I've got a top water in case we need that. And, of course, some worms. And I've uh, got drinks. I brought you a sandwich in the cooler bag right there. Right on, because I like We're all ready eat. to go. Uh, all right, dude. Yeah. Let's, let's get, get after, after it. it, man. Yes, sir. All right, challenge starts now. Challenge is, let's catch a tournament bag on the Harris chain. Today. Right on. Let's all do right, it. launch me, dude. All right, you got it. Here on the Harris chain, any time during the pre-spawn, you're, you're subject to catch you know, a, a giant out on the outer grass line because they stack up there before they move in to spawn. It's just beautiful. The scenery is absolutely gorgeous. The lakes, every lake you go to on the chain, we have everybody from bikers to bird watchers. We've got a beach volleyball court, the second largest in the nation. You know, Lake County's got a lot of things to offer, not just fishing. I'll tell you what's neat. I've got my Garmin chip in here, the Ultra HD, and it shows all the contour lines out here in Griffin. But what's interesting to me, and this is what Lake County is known for, is all these lakes. Look at this when I zoom out. Look at all these lakes here. You got Harris Chain. You've got all these different Mount Dora, Eustis. I mean, there's just endless lakes all through here. Oh yeah, we're full of lakes for sure. Anywhere you want to go. So we're going to basically run over to this this right hand corner over here, huh? Yes, sir. All right. Let's get after. It. Look at that satellite image, and you can see all the houses and trailer parks and marinas and all the different things. The satellite view too. That's oh yeah, pretty that's cool. pretty cool there. All right, you ready? Yeah, man. You know, we were fishing the FLW tournament down at Lake Okeechobee just a few weeks ago, and Tim came up to me and he goes, "Man, I need to get you up here to do a challenge on my home lake. I've never really fished this chain of lakes uh, that much before, but I've heard a lot about it. You know, Lake County and the Harris Chain, this area, a lot of lakes around here, a lot of big fish, and there's been a lot of tournaments over the years." So to be out here with Tim and learning some new techniques and, and a couple new areas, you never know, we might have an FLW coming up here. Guess what, Tim? If you're not in that tournament, dude, can I fish those spots? Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I, I, I hope to be in it. <laughs> there he is. Oh, one hit it. <laughs> oh, he's nailing it. <laughs> oh. Bam, we're catching them right off the bat. One after another. One right one, after another. I mean, another. He, he called it. He said, the wind's perfect. We're going to go down this outside grass line. And I'm thinking, man, I don't know what's going to happen. The storms are coming. We're throwing that lipless crankbait. Got me a little Harris chain bass. Yes, sir. All right. That's that, a nice that fish, That belly, man. they've been eating a little bit. Dude, he smoked it, too. Sweet. Wow. I got one, and then Tim got one, and then it was game on. Yeah. Let's go down that grass line. Bam! Let's get the big one. Woo. They're here, I promise you. Man, that's fun stuff right there. I love catching them on the lipless. There he yeah, is right yeah. there, dude. Good deal. And it was a neat retrieve. We're kind of steady, you know, kind of pop it off the bottom, let it fall, pop it up off the bottom, a little yo-yo technique. He's in the boat. Number three. Dude. <laughs> That's hey. awesome. You swiped at it and you got him with the hook set. I like the Harris chain. That's pretty pretty, pretty cool. looking healthy fish, aren't they? That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. You know, that's what's so fun about throwing lipless crankbaits this time of the year. When you find those fish pre-spawn, they're wadded up, and they're so fat. These fish are feeding on bait. They're sitting out there in about six, seven foot of water in that scattered grass, and they're just feeding up. These fish are nice. 
The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook. Ranger, still building legends, one at a time. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Evinrude, introducing the all-new Evinrude E-Tech G2, the outboard of the future, available today. Okuma Fishing Tackle, there's no stopping Okuma. Garmin, the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. Make sure to follow the Scott Martin Challenge online to stay up to date with all the latest videos, fishing tips, and much more. Don't forget to find us on Facebook for a chance to win a fishing trip with Scott Martin on world famous Lake Okeechobee. If you fish, you probably have one of these, a big giant mess of wasted time and money. Well, the great folks at Rig Wrap have come out with a revolutionary game changing system that keeps you rigged, ready, and always tangle free. They have boxes for every type of free rig you can imagine, from saltwater fishing to freshwater fishing, Goliath grouper fishing with big hooks, swimming jigs, swim baits, you name it, they make it. You know, I do a lot of bass fishing and time is money and there's nothing worse than being out there in the lake with a drop shot or Carolina rig and breaking off and having to sit down on the floor of the boat and re-rig everything. Well, with my new rig rack system, I just simply pull out a nice little rig wrap, pop it open, my drop shot's rigged and ready to go and always tangle free. So, if you want some more information about how to keep your tackle organized, be sure to check them out online at rigwrappedonline.com. We'll see you guys. He's not the biggest one to pack, but he's a fun one. Nice. Look at the oh, belly on that little choke. fish. Choke. That thing has been eaten. Now, just because that's not a keeper, that's still the same number of fish. <laughs> oh, I see how. I see that's, how. Oh, yeah. Now, it's fish Now you're going to count the little now, ones you, that are not keepers. If you catch a mudfish or a gar, we take two away from you. Really? So, yeah. By Make the way, this is called the Scott Martin Challenge. Right. I make the rules. Um, and I bend them. <laughs> Today's all about having fun, but today it was 100% about beating Scott. <laughs> Big one? It feels good or I got it foul hooked. You know, right off the bat, after we caught a few fish, it was all friendly. Then, then Tim started throwing out new rules on me. He started trying to keep track, saying, I'm going to take you down. Then he threw in a great rule. The great rule is, hey, Scott, if you catch a mudfish or a gar, you got a minus two. Yeah, back at you. Minus two, baby. Oh, minus two. You said it, not me. Man. That's <laughs> awful. Oh, that backfired horribly. <laughs> that wasn't good. Wrong decision on my behalf. All right, I'm going to try the Hydra Wave, man. See if this gets them fired up. Here we go. Let me show you what Tim and I are both fishing with. We're uh, we're throwing lip lipless crankbaits. This is old Bill Lewis rattle trap right here, old famous one. But I've got it matched up on, uh, this is P-Line fluorocarbon, 17 pound test P-Line fluorocarbon. I like the fluorocarbon because it gives you that extra sensitivity and it has less stretch. So when you get a little bit of grass on the hooks and you feel that vibration change, you can snap your rod. A lot of times it'll clean it off. Now we've both got them matched up. Tim's an Akuma guy. He's got his matched up on a cranking rod. I've got mine on a little bit heavier rod. This is my signature series. It's a jig worm rod, but I like it for lipless crankbaits because that little extra stiffness helps me rip that bait out of that grass. Uh, I've got it matched up on a Helios Air. This is a magnesium bait caster, super light and, uh, and fast. So that's my setup, and that's Tim's setup for this lipless crankbait stuff. Now we're going to do lots of things today, uh, but right now, this is working. Dude, that hardware fired them up, man. That may be what I'm it serious. is. I'm serious. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a good one, dude. It's a nice fish right here. Nice. That helps, that helps the bag. Yeah. Every time I look up, Tim's trying to cast closer to where I'm catching him. He's trying to cast over my line. He's even fake casting me out in the middle to kind of coax me on the casting out there. Hey, this isn't my first rodeo, Tim. You just got my fish, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's a big one. We're hit. I'll help you out. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. You jacked my fish, man. Hydro Wave is working. I hooked a giant. I threw out. I hooked a big one. You hooked a big one, and then you catch a big one. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Harris chain. Harris Off the chain. chain.
Closed captioning for the SMC provided by Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. Check us out at angle-usa.com for more information and a chance to win an Angle Cooler Dry Box. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Startron. Enzyme fuel treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. Power Bowl. Swift, silent, secure. P-Line. Delivering the leading edge of quality, high-performance fishing line. For all your fishing line needs, Bass Pro is the place to be. They've got the largest selection anywhere, like the new P-Line TCB Teflon Coated x -ray. For more information, be sure to stop in a store or visit online. We'll see you guys. Oh, there he is, dude. All right. Oh, that's a big Another one. Another good one? Yes, it's a big one. And don't go to that grass again. Keep him out. For real. Keep him out. For real. Mean green. Dude, he's fighting. He's not as big as I thought, but he's fighting like a 10-pounder. I got him. I got you mean, him. You swinging? Yeah. Right. I faked you out. Yeah. I just wanted to get you off your game. I started screaming 10 pounder. You got me. <laughs> That's called defense. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah, that, pulls, that pulls out one of those smaller ones. Yes, sir. You know, in early spring, you have to deal with weather. Here in Florida, you know, you've got cold fronts one after another. Usually it's about every every week or so. And you know, the way we shoot this show, we plan these things and, and we set a date. And unfortunately, we're right ahead of a front. We've got issues, Tim. I don't know. It looks like it's an Ocala, touching Ocala right now. It's only like 150 miles long or wide. Holy smokes. I think we're going to get a little wet today, my friend. I brought my rain suit. So that means that's that big dark cloud we see. Right. It's moving east, north, It's going to get wet, like. boys. We're going to get wet. But Tim made a great decision. He said, you know, let's start going back into some of these little backwater canals and see if we can find some spawning fish. We're jacking them on the offshore stuff. Yeah. Is there anything we need to do before this storm hits? Before the storm hits and the light goes completely well, let's see if we can find one sight fishing. All right, let's, dude, let's, let's see if we can find a big one. So far, so good, man. This it place is. is awesome. It's kind of like my go-to, my indicator. If fish are spawning, they're going to be spawning in this canal. So when we, when we drove in there and we started looking, you're starting seeing beds and fish everywhere. I was getting excited thinking this is going to be the day for the giant. Oh my gosh, dude. Big one. Big one. Woohoo! This guy knows what he's doing. All right. Coming to you, Scott. Got him, dude. Cool. Nice one. When he jumped, man, out there, I thought he was a five. I did, too. That, that's funny how they do that. Nice. <laughs> that's a good one, man. <laughs> I like this spot a lot better. We're out of the wind. Boy, I'll tell you, it's a little more comfortable. You know, anytime I get around a bunch of spawning fish, I love catching them. And uh, that's, that's so much fun, especially you know, trying to figure out how to trick these fish, because every fish has its own little personality. You know, every, every, every fish does something a little different. You've got to make a little bit different presentation. You've got to kind of coax that fish into biting. And to me, that's challenging and, and fun at the same time. So we got into this great little canal, and there's beds along both sides as far as you can see. We're pretty fortunate. I like the low light better anyways because they can't see you as quick as they could in the bright sun. You know, it's more shadowed and stuff. I mean, there's a, there, he's following it right off the bed. There's one little piece of grass, and if you get hung in every time, he can't stand it. Got him. Nice. Cool, dude. That was a perfect lesson. You said, look at him, his fins are getting all crazy. Mm -hmm. And then you started dragging it through the bed, which is different. I usually hop it, but that is a nice little trick. You drug it through there and it got him all fired up and he chased it out of there. Yeah, they don't, for some reason, they react to a bait that's dragging. I don't yeah. know if it's just, they think it's eating all their eggs, whatever the deal is. But you know, they're, they're fun to catch and uh, not the big one. But it's hey, fun. It's oh, fun. absolutely! I, I love I love catching sight fish. Let's let him go. Let him do his business. Today's all about making rules up on the fly. You know, we're out here trying to have a good time. Tim's trying to beat me. We're keeping track. He's catching gar. I'm deducting fish. You know, the best part about you catching that fish is that I get to catch a big one next. Because yeah. you just you jump me, so that's a penalty. Because I was penalty. supposed to go first. Well, the penalty is I get two. I get two fish now, so that's how we're going to do it. So I said, who goes first? He said, you can. 
I said, great. Well, guess what? Pull up on the first fish, guess who's pitching at it? Mr. Tim here. Penalty. Yeah, that knocked me down a couple more. <laughs> That's not right. I think he blew at it. There we go. Got him, got him. Nice. There you go. Hey, we're tied on the bed fish. Yeah. Not a big one, but that was fun. It was fun. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Impact. Fish more, snag less. Bob's Machine Shop. Go fast, go shallow, go efficient. And by Hendry County Tourism. That's not the one we're looking for. You know, I started thinking about it. We already had a pretty good show. We caught a lot of fish, but to make it really stand out above all, we needed that one big fish. You know, time's running out. We're dodging rain clouds. It's a little sunny, then it pours. It's a little sunny, and it pours. The wind blows. It's all kind of mess going on. The beauties of fishing, fishing shows. We could do like some guys and just wait till the weather's perfect and then say the weather's going to be beautiful today, and this is the day we need to go shoot a TV show. Or we could do it real and say, this is the day we're going to do a fishing show like a month ago, and then it rains, and we say, we're just going to go fishing. We get into this canal, and it's like, it's like the jungle in here. There's trees everywhere, and old docks, and beds everywhere. And we keep cruising down this bank, cruising and cruising, looking for this one big one. And right at the end, I look down, and it looks like a submarine. This is a true 10-pound bass sitting on the bed, and we're power pulling down on this baby. Dude, that is a big one. I'm not kidding. That is like, a, like a, that is the one. I don't know if we're going to catch it. We're about to run out of time. Thunderstorms are in the air, tornado warnings hurricanes, the whole nine yards. But there is a Lake County monster bass on that bed. Dude, she's all in it. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Really? Really? All day? I'm not gonna, I don't give up that. How many either. times have I said took and missed them? None. Guess what? We dude. know she'll bite. You know, the one thing about sight fishing is it's frustrating. You know, trying to get these fish worked up. Can you see it? I can't see it. The wind's blowing. All of a sudden, you're on the fish. You're, you're trying to get this big fish to bite. I see that fish moving on the bed. I see Tim's line jump. I see Tim set the hook. You're fired. You're fired, dude. I'm done. And the line broke. Oh, <sighs> it reminded me. She's right there, Scott. She's right there. Oh my God! Catch her. I'm, I, no, I'm, oh now I gosh, am mad. Dude. That was her to hit. You know, sometimes your line breaks, and that's just part of fishing. And, and, and there's a lot of reasons for that. I mean, sometimes there's a nick in your line. Sometimes you set the hook too hard, too close to the boat. And sometimes when you're dealing with a fish that's say 10 pounds, that's a lot of weight down there. Things happen, man. But it's unfortunate. Scott, you can't you can't give me too much ribbon because right after I did that, you swung and missed too. You're fired. Quit, dude. I'm retiring some bastards. I know he ripped the claws off my crawdad, dude. That was a little bit of a, 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 a too early of a hook set. Well, he, he, he swam off about three feet before you set the hook. This fish is kicking our tail. Tim, it really wasn't about a big competition about beating each other, but we always have fun doing that. That's what makes fishing so much fun is just getting out there and you know, setting a goal of some sort, whether it's catching a big fish or catching more than your buddy or first fish, last fish, big fish or whatever. But you know what? I think I took them all today. Oh yeah. You know, Scott, I'd probably say that too if I just had my butt waxed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that's the fish we were looking for today. That is a 10 pound bass. We had our chances. We missed her a couple times and uh, I'm gonna say that this fish won, my friend. But I'll tell you what, we caught a lot of fish today. This Harris chain is the real deal. I oh, enjoyed dude. fishing it, man. Lots of water, lots of cool places to fish. We caught a ton and some nice ones. We just, we didn't catch that one. It was there. It's right there. But that's why we love fishing, because yep. we want to come back for more. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yep. I so, agree. so we've got to let these fish go. We've got a pretty good bag. Not the bag we wanted, but yeah. a pretty good bag. Let's let these fish go. Man, Scott, I really enjoyed the day. It's been my pleasure, and I, I thank you again.
I learned a lot. It was just a lot of fun. And uh, the challenge, the lake beat us today. We didn't get that monster, but we had it on twice. Oh, Good yeah. one right there, man. They're lively. What is this? That is the VT2 system. It's a vent that allows fresh air to get in my live wells, and it keeps those fish good and healthy. All right, let's let these fish go. Grab you a couple there. Let a good fish there. You know, we probably had 16 and a half, Close, 16 and yeah. a half pounds or so. Um, it was a lot of fun, man. Let's let these fish go. Grab a couple oh, there. Me. Stock your canal here. Uh, that's nice. Nice fish right there. Woo. Tell you what, Harris Chain is on fire. It, had a lot it, of fun. On dude. fire. Me too. Had fun, enjoyed man. I'll tell you what, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's show. Learned a little bit about how to catch fish off beds, a little bit on how to catch fish on little crankbaits, yeah. and how to deal with weather. We had to deal with that today. So stay tuned. Next week, we're on a new lake, new challenge. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge, guys. We'll see you. Appreciate it. Enjoy. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah. This is the real deal, dude. Yes, sir. Sweet.